Guys, so today I'm reviewing the new 20 plate Mercedes GLS 400D. So it's a 4 litre diesel and it's a premium plus model, so it's the uh, top spec interior. Um, the only nicer version you get of this mod uh, engine wise is the AMG version, um, which is purely engine um, GLS 63, that would be. So, exterior wise, this is in a pearlescent white large alloys, side step, it's pretty imposing, really nice, really really nice, large road presence, this has got to be up there with I would say my favourite even compared to the uh, the Range Rover, this, this gives it a good run for its money. Price wise this is around £100,000 but as you'll see shortly in my opinion it's well worth its money and I would say has even more gadgets and you know I love the Land Rover even more gadgets than that so key to close and open just to quickly show you it will close with the key on the boot as well if I hold it well, it's now not doing that, so I don't quite understand that. So that's something that's temperamental, because a minute ago I did do it with the key. So, slight problem there. So these are the uh, the buttons for the rear seats. Um, middle seats, sorry. So second row left, second row right, all of all of the seats. And the same on this side. Third row left, third row right. Um, and that's to lay it, lower and raise, sorry, the, uh, the rear of the car. These are your seven seats, so your two rear seats. Um, charging point and recline button and cooled seats also with a cup holder and the same on this side so that is serious gadgets even for your uh, your rear your rear passengers you know the seven and the sixth passenger which is pretty pretty decent to have because you don't often see that this far back so i now use the uh, the button up here to close it push and it will close I did do it with the key earlier, so maybe the car has to be running to be able to use the um, the fob, the button on the fob. So moving to the rear, it's all keyless entry if you have the key with you. So you have blinds, which are operated via these paddles here. You have your blinds paddle here, and your, uh, your rear windows. The blinds are mechanical, which is very smart, not having to do it yourself, like the Lexus, as I showed you in the previous video. Large door cards, um, lovely gloss sort of um, timber uh, inlay, Burmester sound system. You have the rear screen entertainment. Um, again, your timber inlay the whole way around. You have a heated uh, cup holder, as you can see the heated button. Um, you also have vents, you also have a touchpad system, which I'll just quickly show you here once I get this up. This is all operational to control the uh, the climate control in the rear. Once the car's on, you would see that. Um, large space, very large space. Um, you know, you have multifunctional seat controls even with the rear, rear two um, passengers like you do in the front and you also have cooled fan assisted and um, that's a button at the front to move the seat forward it's just full of gadgets so you'd also have a tablet that sits on here because of the current situation we're in the tablet is not in the car but you could control the climate through that you could also look at the dashboard and um, the driver's dashboard and see speed wise this is your Centre armrest storage, and what I've just realised is really awesome is you have wireless charging, which is cool, even for the rear passengers, so that is awesome. Obviously, the seats have the rear head cushions, um, they're reclinable, amazingly comfortable. This car is, it's like, wow, awesome. Um, so moving on to the front, um, you have your side step, as I showed you on the walk around, which assists with this in, makes it makes a little bit of a difference. and. A handy difference for the elderly um, memory you know memory function if you want to set the seats to suit who's driving whether it be your wife or your husband or whatever um, all the windows controllable obviously not blinds in the front because it's uh, you're not allowed to to have dark front windows Burmester sound system timber inlay and the new um, amazing Mercedes interior or dashboard infotainment system 
Uh, lovely steering wheel, very soft leather. The leather in this car is premium. Um, amazingly comfortable seats. You have a full panoramic sunroof, which fully opens. Um, a can of coat. Your touchpad, your Mercedes touchpad. Um, this button here raises and lowers the car. Um, good size storage in there. Also USB point to charge your phone. Um, a wallet holder. Uh, wireless charging over here. The lovely uh, infotainment system controls. It's just, it breathes quality. Or oozes quality, whatever, whatever way you want to um, pronounce it. So I'll quickly turn the car on. With the start stop button down here. Push the brake. Push on. Starts up. You have your board or digital dashboard now, buttons, loads of options, touch screen over here, start, you can, uh, you can create a profile to suit who's in there, seating position, all of this, we're just going to go to the home screen, it's your navigation, your phone, the sound system on this is unbelievable, um, radio, play. Got the Burmester sound system. I don't know if you can see it on the. Um, maybe not, but this around here has head up display, which obviously you can't see on the camera for some reason. I don't know exactly why, but cannot see that. Turn the car back off. Um, this is, in my opinion, well worth. The money um, comparable to you know to the, this is up there with the Land Rover. I'd say better than Land Rover um, for what you're paying and what you're getting for your price. I mean the the car above this is Mercedes-wise SUV is the the uh, G wagon, which is considerably more. That's 180 thousand. So this this is real good value for money. Um, just another quick brief look at the setup. It's it's pure luxury. You'd love to be chauffeur driven in it. As Mercedes quote, it is the SUV, uh, the, sorry, the S class of SUVs. Um, what I will try and do quickly is turn it on and show you the panoramic sunroof. Obviously, keyless entry, so I have the key on me. So it's quite simple. You just the button, you don't have to hold it, you just release it, and it goes back all the way back and opens up to this point here so you get a nice large amount of um, air circulating around the car. Um, I'll also quickly show you as I spoke about earlier your climate control buttons for the rear it's all just crisp and really sharp um, yeah oh there we go come to life and this is the rear screen entertainment go to home you can look at the dash you can just do whatever you like. So again, like I always say, please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Put an opinion on what you think of the car. Um, that'd be great. Signing off with the Mercedes GLS 400D. Take care, guys.